Revelio. My mother always responds to my Rebellion.
This looks intriguing. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you? Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here. Just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised- They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! I see you! Well done, child. I'm sending you. Let me open. Uh, 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 uh. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Tiger! Uh, 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 
Happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm. Incendium. This is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pies. Incendium. Merlin's beard. The flames make the pyre sink. Hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite. 
which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Greetings, young Slytherin. A Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fink. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Incendio. Eight legs is simply too many. I should investigate. Scrope? Who is Scrope? Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. Akiya. Pumpkins. Ah, I think I know just the place. Rebellion.
down to the water's edge. Hmm, this had better not be a trick. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. Been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. Oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. In fact, Scrope wants to surprise him. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help, but when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. Place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. And the ring. But I need a piece of toast. I suppose that's where it goes.
could it be? A visitor? Oh! Ah! Ooh! <laughs> The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I must insist that you give them to me at once. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map. To what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton. They're yours for the taking. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves.
Ugh. <sighs> Handy resource indeed, your fields are 